um, I know the way that I learned to do it was to make some notes and practice and be able to follow them. I can't do it that way though. <laughs> it's a, it really, what works for me the best is to think, first of all, I find out what's the topic, right? What, what do the people who are inviting me want to hear about? Um, then I think about, and who is the audience? So what's my approach? Is my approach going to be, well, I'm talking to a, a union meeting and um, there are folks who don't know me and so I want to do more of a charm offensive, I guess. Mm -hmm. Or am I speaking at a rally where the point is to mm -hmm. get people really fired up? Mm -hmm. Or am I speaking at an event where um, I have, you know, 30 minutes or so where I'm mm -hmm. just speaking, which mm -hmm. is a very different thing. You don't want to have mm -hmm. a high level of intensity the whole time. Mm -hmm. So I think about who are the audience, what are, what are, what's the topic? And then I, um, I try to do a few lines, just a few lines about the different areas that I want to cover. Mm -hmm. So, for example, I was talking with the Nurses Association um, the other day. I thought, well, what I want to cover is um, health care. I want to cover what we're doing um, in the AFL-CIO around, mm -hmm. the, uh, around the shutdown of the government. I want to, and generally what our program is. Mm -hmm. I want to talk about their role as um, union leaders. Mm -hmm. um, so I think about the kind of general areas that I want to hit and then I start to fill in a little bit more about what those are. Mm -hmm. And then I, I, I write it out and I pretty much mm -hmm. write out everything <laughs> that mm -hmm. I'm going to say. Oh. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I've found, and I've, I have done a few times I've been in a situation where I don't know long in advance that I'm going to be speaking. Mm -hmm. And so in that case, I have to really focus my thoughts right away and just put a few sentences and then cover that. But I found that um, once I've written everything out, I read it over several times so I'm not <laughs> reading while I'm talking, mm -hmm. but so that I can glance down and know what I'm going to say. Mm -hmm. But I found um, because I get nervous, if I don't have it something I can reference, then mm -hmm. My mind goes blank, and I start mm. to, and I start to feel like I'm not making sense, that I'm not being coherent. Mm. But yeah. you practice out loud. I do. I practice out loud, and I practice to myself. Mm. And uh, and I also will always have, almost always, if I can, have somebody who's heard me speak read it over, mm. because then mm. they can. I know when they're reading it, they're hearing my voice, I guess, mm -hmm. so they, they'll read it over, like my husband, Richard, mm -hmm. will read it over, or a friend of mine will read it over, and I know that they'll, they'll pick up on things that they know are going to sound funny or that won't work, so.